hello guys today I'm going to show you how to make a realistic material for curtains using lumen inside Unreal Engine 5 okay let's begin let's make a new material let's call it C1 open it right click promote the parameter we can put a texture over here but for now I'm going to leave it to be color right click on not now let's select and make blend mode to mask then make shading mode okay to two-sided foliage I will tell you why I did this but let's keep up now let's go for it's um, right click let's go for constant vector 3 3 vector right click convert to parameter color subsurface and let's put this in subsurface color over here and um, you can search for something like this fabric texture black and white and download it and put it inside Unreal. This texture. I will just drag and drop and make a few things. First of all, I need like a UV for this. So I will make multiply. I will press M and left click. And um, I want a scalar parameter. So I will press S and left click. And let's say this will be UV. And we need like thickest coordinate put all this together this one over here will be one no. and this will attach to multiply okay we can simply press M and make another scalar parameter let's call it opacity Let's make this one also and this will be in past mask mode and hit apply and of course let's don't forget to make two sided material and press apply okay we have now the material we can like manipulate it this one over here C1 we will right click make a material instance right click and create material instance then press apply it over here and uh, right now I'm going to show you how you use this let's make this white okay UV let's make it a million something we can see and let's increase the opacity a little bit and you can see over here it has like shadows and it catches the uh, direction light behind it you can see this this flickering is not appearing in render because we use we are using uh, the method of uh, this one I always keep forget yeah anti sync okay and I render with this to N16 it's a total of 32 sample this is what I render with and uh, voila you have this curtain material I have a bonus tip if you want to have different shadow and different looking picture because they are now connected together if, you op if I open this if you can see over here it's connected with the opacity and the shape of the model itself is changing and the shadow is changing if you want to spread this it's very easy you just click on this and go over here control C control V no okay control Z I just need to click on it control C control V now we have two curtains over each other 
one will have the texture and another one will be uh, responsible for the shadow so let's put the shadow let's say this one will be shadow okay I will attach this over here the shadow one I will go and press hide and um, I will mark all of these okay now this one has shadow but it's not appeared and they are in the same position okay the second one I will make to select the main one that is responsible for the locking I will go and search for shadow and press this one it doesn't cost shadow so I will give this one a different material of course it will be material instance from it and uh, I would just change a few things let's open this and let's open this one over here so we have this one this is a material that responsible for shadows if we press on opacity and we decreased okay I need to change a few things because I think I messed up yeah I just need to press G okay wait 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 just a moment because I need to figure out which one is this one is instance instance and this one is instance okay let's go for instance and let's decrease you can see now I can control how the curtain itself look like without the shadow is it changing okay let's say this one over here that I need this is the look and let's go back to the another material to control the shadow itself and that's how you can like manipulate the look and shadows together oh and final thing for the direction light I will show you a problem that I faced let's go put the direction light over here you can see a lot of shadows a lot of artifacts over there we can like go we have two solutions for this you can search for ray trace the default for my project setting is enabled okay so it's so, there is so many artifacts if you disabled it you can see this unsatisfied uh, shadows so I will enable it and increase sample per pixel for direction light for ray trace I will like make 16 it's very good but it's ha it has few over here so I will increase it to 32 still seeing few artifacts so I will increase it to 64 and this is uh, how can you make realistic curtain walls thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and like and share thank you